What is going on guys? It is Duke and welcome to today's video here on the channel. Rise of Civilization, so happy for you guys to be here. That's because today, as you can see right behind me there, it is a lot different because we're starting over here. We are at City Hall 4 right now with one of my older accounts, which I kind of just started up to jump in with some uh, of my old Alliance members. And we are going to be going full-fledged free-to-play. I know a lot of you guys are out there are commenting about free-to-play. Guess what? We're starting from scratch here. We're going to go free-to-play, no whatsoever not a dime dropped into this so we're going to go in we're going to we're going to jump in and do it maybe you guys have just started the game maybe you guys are new to the channel if if so why don't you subscribe right now that'd be great we bring you rise of civilizations content each and every single day as a sponsored rise of civilizations content creator so maybe you are like calvin right here who just uh, posted two hours ago on one of my videos that he just started to play so thumbs up to you calvin i appreciate you swinging by hey hey Best of luck to you in the game, and hopefully you can pick up some points here or there. Or, hey, maybe you can drop some pointers on me because that's what we do here on the channel. We're always open to uh, positive feedback. I love hearing from you guys. And, hey, we're starting back over. There's a lot of mistakes that I made, even mistakes I'm making now on my main account, but mistakes I made way back in the day, especially with my commanders. That's a big thing. And uh, other tips that I may have given you back in the day which were bad, but hey, that's where I think I made a lot of the different contacts who uh, still comment on my videos and I appreciate every single one of you telling me in a positive way, hey, you know what, this might not be the way to do it, you might want to do it this way, and then we can build a rapport and talk about things on a daily basis. So we're going to jump in and check out a few of the things if you're a new player or just starting over again, some of the things that you want to focus on. Uh, first, it is these uh, these camps here. You got to get your troops rolling here. We got barracks. We're going to go ahead and train up. We have tier one troops. That is kind of crazy. Still it's so weird playing on an account like this where, uh, especially if you spend so much time in your higher level accounts, going back to one like this, you, you forget so many things. You forget about scouts. You forget you have to send scouts out. Now, I don't even know where we are. Now, this is an older account. I'd like to hop into maybe a newer kingdom. That's what we can do. Now, remember, I'm at City Hall level 4 now. I can go up to City Hall level 7 before I can teleport out, but I think because this is a newer account, I might not be able to teleport. I mean, this is an older account. I might not be able to teleport out because, because I've been in this account for a while, so I think that we are kind of stuck with this one. So if we peel back and check things out, we can see that all the fog is clear. So it looks like this kingdom here is uh, pretty much opened up. It is in the later stages of the game here. And uh, I can't see rankings or anything like that now because I'm not at a city hall level eight. So I cannot do that. So I can't see uh, the king. I can't see who is the top uh, alliances here. I can just do my own little thing. Maybe latch on with an alliance. As you can see, I'm at a VIP level one, which is so far back. Of course, it's the first. It is the bottom. So I'm kind of... Uh, I'm, I'm at an uphill climb, as you can see here. I'm facing the uphill climb, but all we can go and do is go ahead and collect uh, everything we can. That is one of the main things that we talk about, going ahead and collecting these resources, because you're going to need them. You're going to need a lot of them. You need so much in this game uh, to each and every single level. So <clears throat> that is one of the things that you really need to pay if, uh, pay attention to and focus on, especially these daily objectives. They give you free stuff. We love stuff and we love it when it's free. So you might as well go ahead and get all of these things. So mainly <clears throat> that's what you got to do is open up things, collect things. As you can see, there's a notification up there. We're going to go ahead and claim. I think you get some food and wood maybe out of that or some coinage there. So right here, VIP level one, you can get some food, wood, stone, one advanced commander sculpture and some tome right there. A tome out of that is great. And of course, you got to go up here. Here's the recharge. We are not buying, so but we can go ahead and collect a little. There's the food and the water right there. So um, that is it. So we're at the point here. We're up to City Hall level four. So we can go ahead and I think we unlocked some of these military buildings, the stable and the hospital. Of course, you know, the stable is uh, is where we can go ahead and uh, train more troops up. You can go ahead and train troops up, which is great. The cavalry troops, which are some of the most popular troops in the entire game. Now, this the city looks a little bit crazy, and then we can also drop our our uh, hospital down. Is this our first hospital or a second hospital? I don't even know at this point. So we can go ahead and drop this guy down uh, right there. We'll get uh, the glitch in the game. So we're going to go ahead and jump back in 
and then we can go ahead and drop that hospital into uh, the map right there. We're going to go ahead and get that. So as you can see, the first time you drop these buildings down, it's really cheap, and we can go ahead and uh, get our uh, free chest right here, which is always good. You got to go ahead and get them and Dragon Lancer. <clears throat> so what we really want to do is focus on commanders. Now let me see what we have here. So as far as commanders, we got Boudica at level eight, which is amazing. So I got Boudica and Lohar. What I really want to do is get her uh, leveled up pretty quick. And then I have uh, a couple of these advanced, uh, I have a, and there's an elite one, Tomeo, or Tomoe. And then we also have Markswoman, we have Dragon Lancer, and we have Centurion. So uh, not the best of the group. Now, of course, these first two are two commanders, which I want to focus on. I want to ha grab a handful of commanders. Uh, of course, you want your gatherers, but uh, you have Boudica and Lohar are my peacekeepers. They're the ones that are going to be able to go ahead and go ahead and attack barbarians. I want to continue to train up troops. We have a little bit of uh, the monies all the way up top here. We got food, we got wood, and we have stone. And we just want to make sure that we can keep uh, keep everything going on, keep things training. So it looks like I don't think we have any siege units yet right now. We got archers. Uh, we got the barracks, uh, and then we also have the stable. So we do not have at this point the ability to uh, the siege workshop. It unlocks at level five. So your siege units are what are best for going out and uh, farming your resources, which of course is, is a great thing that you want to do. So this is a level four logging camp. Let me see if we can run out some troops over here, and it looks like it's wanting us to go ahead and grab a markswoman. So it looks like uh, let's see what we can grab. We can grab sixteen thousand. That's my head behind there. So look if we move that sixteen thousand nine hundred. That's what we can get for the resources. So let's pop on over. And I think at this stage we have one march queue, which is pretty crazy. So it's uh it's amazing, but. Uh, at this point, you can also, there's a couple of different things we can do here. We want to focus on uh, getting our troops rolling on. We want to focus on getting a builder going. And as you can see, Builders Hall, what is it suggesting that we build? It is suggesting that we upgrade our quarry. Uh, but really, I want to get these uh, I want to get these camps going. Our barracks are level 3, our stables are level 1, and then it looks like over here, our archer archery range is a level 3 here. So we want to get them up to 4. We want to get the City Hall level 5, uh, I would say pretty quick, because we want to unlock that stable so we can have uh, 4 different camps going, uh, brewing up these troops, get these siege units out, and then uh, let me see, uh, let's go ahead and look to see when we can unlock another queue. If you go to your city hall, actually let me show you how we did that. If you go to your city hall, you collect on, you click on the information button all the way over there to the left hand side and then you got another information button uh, right there kind of towards the middle next to the age. You click on that and then we can see our troop dispatch queue. So city hall level five is where you unlock the second dispatch queue. So that is huge. Uh, like I said, if you're new to the game, Troop dispatch queues are big time. They are really big time because uh, one, it allows you to maybe send out multiple farming queues, especially, especially if it's uh, say overnight, or you can send out one farm and do one farming barbarians. And also when you go ahead and do the com campaigns, you gotta get a little bit higher. Uh, City Hall level five. So that's what we wanna get to. City Hall level four. Uh, let's see what we need to do to get upgraded on that. So it looks like our wall and our, uh, what do we got here? And our hospital, we need to get them up. So let's go ahead and jump over to our wall and see if we can get that upgraded. Of course we can. So we are have, gonna have to wait 10 minutes on that. Let's speed that up if we can because, uh, just because we want to. We don't have much in the way of speed ups. That's weird. Not used to that. So let's go ahead and use um, two five minute speed ups. I wouldn't suggest really using them, but just for video's sake, we got to. And then also, it looks like our hospital, we can get that up to uh, level two. And that's only a 24 second upgrade. As you see, these lower level uh, upgrades for these buildings are uh, pretty quick. So, like I said, if you're early in the game, uh, it's only been, it's probably only been <clears throat> maybe a day with this account here. Maybe two days, depends on how much you play. Get the City Hall level five, open the open the second uh, March queue. You wanna do that, you wanna open the second March queue and then right here is the campaign button. You wanna get in there and you wanna start using your expedition because the expeditions um, going ahead and uh, finishing different levels, you're, you're gonna get daily rewards for that. Stay on top of that, that is big time. There's so many things that are big time. And then also, another little tip tidbit for some of you newer players uh, what you want to do okay let's go ahead and uh, get this hospital upgraded one more time and it looks like it's only a minute and 40 seconds so what you want to do is kind of uh, jump pull back on the map here as you see we're zooming out and then uh, we want to get to the point I think it's uh, resources 
resources or it might be explore so you click on the explore button over there and then you want to find let me see is that a house there uh, okay see as you can see there is a present there so run around the map and it looks like the irrigation we are able to unlock an economic uh, technology which is great if you pull back you can see now the house was yellow now it's green and you can kind of bounce around the map and see if you can find some of those and as you can see over here there's one two three three of them so make sure you take some time whether it's when you're when your uh, cues are out there farming whether your troops or training we got some hand saw we got some technical power there and then uh, I think there's another one up there so take some time to do that it is really important especially early on in the stage because you can go ahead as I just grab some more troops you can get speed ups uh, you can get pretty cool things like that maybe you're gonna get uh, uh, some kingdom maps that you can trade in uh, for some uh, for some other awesome things and now we have a, a cave over here which cave is cool let's see what it's a low level cave but we're gonna go ahead and investigate it we're gonna send our scout out but like I said make sure you do this this is pretty big this is big early on because it's it's free stuff like I said earlier we love stuff and we love when it's free so peel back a little bit as you can see we got a house you can go all over the entire map kingdom map here now if you get a kingdom map and you are in a kingdom that is uh, locked and loaded you can go down to your items jump over there and you can go ahead and uh, use them and you can see right here since we already have the fog all the way cleared you can get some free speed ups now speed ups are uh, great we want to get those you want to of course gather those you can see here's our different uh, different items that we have so we have a ton of work to do so much catching up to do now if you want me to continue with this series please let me know in the comments down below I love hearing from you guys uh, you know I look forward to each and every comment we keep things rolling and we will talk to you guys later